Hello everyone and welcome to my Cloud Strike tutorial video for Smash 4. Now, before we begin, you must know that the controller's layout I'm using is the PDP with the default layout, meaning R and L or shield, ZL, ZR, uh, grab, etc. The defaults. And this is what I recommend for cloud. At least in my opinion, because it's going to make it a lot easier, in my opinion. So, you're going to just... Now, the first thing I'm going to teach you is cloud's basic move set. If any of you didn't see the trailer, all you really see is his special moves and a little couple flash of him comboing. Now I'm going to teach you what all these moves are for and what they do. So first thing is your A button. No, I don't need to put this in two simple terms. Press your jab. Jab one. Two damage. Jab two adds up to four damage. Press it three times, you'll do three jabs, which will add up to eight damage. Next is Cloud's forward tilt. 11 damage. Next is down tilt, seven damage. Up tilt, or er, eight damage. Now we shall discuss his what these moves are for. Jab can be used to actually hit your opponents when they're trying to cover the ledge. And I'll showcase this. So example, we have Bowser right here, right? It can be used to catch them again and maybe even lead into an aerial. Now forward tilt. It's a good move to knock them back a little at higher percents. So example, you could do jab, and then forward tilt at the ledge. We'll kill Little Mac at least. And sometimes it, they will have lost their jump, making some characters' recovery absolutely useless. Now we'll discuss his down tilt. This props them up so you can follow up with an up tilt. Up air, in some cases, like this one where you don't completely screw up your spacing. And in some cases, even an up smash. Now, here's why the control layout's like this. Meaning, you can go from neutral air to immediately an up smash on the ground, for example. Now, we'll discuss the smash attacks. This is what you're mainly going to use to knock people back at higher percents. See how this is actually knocking Bowser very far back? And another one of those would be a kill, even if it's not fully charged. See? And yeah, around 80% is kill percent for this. So now for down smash, using this at the ledge is essential because you can hit them back, lead into literally anything else in Cloud's arsenal, and potentially even steal yourself a stock. Next is forward, or er, oops, not that. And now, up smash. This can chain into literally any of Cloud's moves at low percents. And a high percents can kill them off the top of low maps. Or can do this. Now we'll discuss his special attacks. Up B. Can recover pretty good. Well, actually not very good. Cloud is easily caped or killed by this. But if you have the stock lead, you can easily just do this. this. Now, if you press up B a second time, you'll just do that. And in most cases, if you're above them, we'll knock them down. Like that. Sealing yourself the stock. Except against high recovering characters like Dark Pit or Rob. And now we'll discuss his side special. Actually, we should discuss his neutral special. This can be used to get some damage or for gimping purposes, like this. 
yeah, it's mainly used to get some damage, but it can be used for gimping, I guess, if you really want. I don't- I personally don't use it for gimping. Sometimes as a tool for leading up in styles. Now, side B. Personally, I like to use this at the ledge, knock him a bit further. And, yeah, basically, this will do a bit of damage, actually. Now, we're going to head into his down B. This will charge limit. Now, Bowser, being the pretty much heaviest character in the game, will die at... Let me just get this up there. Once limit is fully charged, you are able to press your down B again and do this. A literal insta-kill move. Actually, wait, is it 58%? Uh, I don't know exact kill percent for this, but I know it's relatively similar for all characters. Yeah, it's about 60. So, now, let's discuss what this can also do to your other moves. It can turn neutral B into a multi-hit. Up B into a pretty much savior recovery tool. No, this does not launch them any higher. Actually, it does a little, but it's almost pretty much useless for attacking. But it can pretty much save Cloud. And now, his side B in limit break. <laughs> Will knock your enemy intensely far at like 60%. So it's pretty good. Now let's discuss Bob's aerials. Up air can be used to hit a wide range, and it has a long hitbox, so you don't really have to worry. The weak hit is definitely significantly weaker, but if you can just hit it, we spot it at a higher percent and not on the weak hit, you could get a kill, but it's mainly used for keeping your opponent in the air to lead into a setup. Now we're going to discuss neutral air. Neutral air, neutral air, neutral air. You're pretty much, this is pretty much your best spacing tool, as it doesn't knock them too far, but can easily be used to carry them off stage. You can pretty much set them into hit lag with it, get them on the ground, and pretty much follow up with anything you desire. And now forward air. The very end of this move has a spike. But otherwise, we'll hit a lot sideways. So let me actually try and not hit the spike. I'm just saying the spike on this usually hits. But I'm just saying otherwise, it will knock them kind of upwards, but sideways, like mostly. Now, back air. Just an all around good move. I mean, it's not like good, but like, it can be used to do that. Seal the stock, I guess. But, I would recommend doing it if you have limits so you can actually recover. And now, we shall talk about down air. If you hit it right as it's coming out, you'll pretty much spike them. So, if you hit them with the uh, tip of your blade, it will spike them. Unless it's the hilt, I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure it's the tip. Because every time I hit with anything above the tip, it just knocks them off. But if you hit them right when it's coming out, you're guaranteed to get the tip. No, see, that's what happens if you don't get the tip. But if you hit them up the center, yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen, and you can follow up. Or if you're off stage, it will just kill them. So now we're going to discuss his throws. Down throw can lead into a lot of back air. Forward throw can lead into a whole lot of neutral air, actually. Neutral air or forward air? Personally, neutral air is a bit more effective. Oops. Uh, up throw, we already kind of discussed this, leads into up air and stuff. Down throw, good. Back throw, good-ish. Now, I'm going to show a bit more advanced cloud stuff. Because 
I'm gonna discuss it all on for glory. I know for glory is not that good, but like. Eh. Don't really have an opponent to fight, so it's the best we've got. So, naturally, we'll go on here, show off some cloud stuff. I might lose a little because there are some goodish good players on here. There's good, good players on here sometimes. Like, there's one in ten times you'll encounter someone really good, and you'll just know it. But I'll show you what Cloud can do. And how he can literally destroy an opponent. If he wants. Let's put my mic up here a little. Yeah, so we're just gonna pick Cloud. And I'll show you what Cloud can really do, while still guiding you on what he can do. Cloud is very fast, and here's a bit of movement for you. If you repeatedly tap forward, you'll just be able to- hang on, I'm not dealing with lag. Not today. Cloud also has probably the most stylish SDs in the game. Dash, 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 dash. So yeah, fight literally anyone but someone laggy, and you'll be good. Especially in local play. That's where Cloud shines, I think. In my opinion, at least. So yeah, PDP controller, that's what this is mainly strategized. Or you can use a Hori. Yeah, that. The, the controller I don't have. I'm using a PDP. PDP GameCube controller. So yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So, for Cloud's movement, you can tap your dash button a bunch, like just like this. And, I mean, just... It's kind of a, a way of movement, and... Now, one of the things about Cloud is knowing when to charge your limit, and I'm being serious. There are times where if you charge your limit, your opponent can pretty much charge something on you and kill you. But air dodging literally has no effect on forward smash because it hits so many times. Oh yeah, shout out to Mewtwo King, pretty much the best cloud I've ever seen. Mewtwo King doesn't care about me, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Mewtwo King doesn't care about me. Oh yeah, and here's why you want the C-Stick. That way, if they charge at you, you can just go from neutral B immediately into a smash attack. Uh, well not, not neutral B, so not, not, not side B, down B. And literally kill them. So as you can see, Cloud's winning quite nicely right here. Ooh. I know I'm not the best Cloud on the planet, and I'm probably not really that good either. I just have a general idea of what I'm doing. Oh, and the best part is that your limit doesn't go down to zero like Mewtwo's Shadow Ball and Lucario's Aura or DK's Super Punch when you're hit. It really doesn't matter. You could... DK's. Okay, down smash. Another down smash. Like, if this hits at high percents, they're literally... I, I keep saying literally, but that's just how serious it is. They're really gonna be sent into the blast zone. One limit move and she's done. Yeah. That hits in an entire circle extremely fast and has a win box for a little back. So it's a pretty easy win for Cloud. Like, but some matchups are difficult for me. Like, it's different for everyone, but I have quite a bit of trouble with certain matchups. Like, Pac-Man and, uh, Pikachu. Sweet. 
see what. So we're gonna go. We're just gonna hop into another round. That's YouTube rapper right here. You're advertising someone else on my channel, man. It doesn't matter. True. Okay. So we're just gonna go into another round, and this time I'm gonna talk about some more stuff you can do with Cloud. Oh, I also rec recommend having Tap Jump on, because then you can just go into another move after another move. That's how I get around so fast, but like, this means I can't short. Like, I can press X or Y, but I just don't. I don't know why. It's just not in my instincts. I'm, I'm pretty sure Y is easier to press into a jump, though. And X is better for mashing. Okay, Donkey Kong. Slow characters, these are the best matchups for Cloud because they're big, they're slow, and Cloud can beat them around. Now, Cloud is the one character I actually main. And no Cloud's broken stuff in the chat or comments. He's just fun. I meant he's a little powerful, but like. That's zero to death. No, that was a zero to death. And now, watch as it will probably happen twice. Nope. No JV, but like. Watch. I can just literally combo him. And I can up throw into limit break. Like, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's better if they're still in pit stun. Like, you can literally jump and down B with position, which I don't have. I just... Yeah, that was the time to charge the limit, because I figured he was going to stay down. Pop out of it. Dead. It's just so funny! that every time you're not really gonna lose this cloud too easy. That's like it. Technically I need to do this next. Good. And that's pretty much it for cloud. But I think I'll probably have a couple more videos on cloud. Just showing me playing someone for glory. So yes, I'll see you.